two week update after my retightening and getting my bro the bottom, bottom, bottom braces on. I'm still adjusting to speaking and uh, yeah, I say things, I pronounce things wrong every now and then just because I'm trying to form my lips over my teeth correctly. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to that. I am counting down, man. I cannot wait until I'm done with this. I'm so glad that I'm doing something about it and getting it done, but being, getting braces sucks. Like, this, this sucks. And at first I was like, well, it sucks when you get them as an adult. I think it sucks at any point in life that you get braces on. Um, you see, like, it's, it's weird. I'm sure it's probably easier when you're younger because you just, you're younger. You just, you're still developing and growing. But once you are older and I don't know, I don't know if I can make, it makes sense in my head, but to verbalize it, I just feel like this is a big adjustment. Uh, but yeah, I was watching Netflix the other night and this simple scene, she was just eating something and she just got up from the table, drank some wine and got up from the table. And I'm like, wow. That, she just did that with ease. That just looks so easy. Like eating is a task. It's a chore. I'm pulling food out of my teeth. I'm just, it's just a, it's just not eating and just, I just ate and get it and go. So yeah, mm. I cannot wait to be able to just eat a regular meal and just eat like regular, like regular and not have to pull food out of my braces and then feel like food is still stuck up there and my gums are, yeah. But for the update, it is two weeks since I got my top braces retightened and my bottom braces on. The bottom braces really haven't been a thing. I mean, maybe the first day or so, it felt really weird, I guess. But it, it, the pain level wasn't there. The top ones, oh my gosh. And I, I say pain really loose. I, just the it being uncomfortable. And well, I'm gonna have to go back to pain because there was a point when I chew and the top teeth would hit the bottom, or if I press too hard, any pressure on those top teeth, man, it, it stopped me in my tracks of what I was doing. I'm two weeks in, and yesterday I went to like open a ketchup packet, a ketchup or mustard packet, and tried to grip it with my teeth, and I couldn't do it. Like, put in pressure still two weeks in on those front teeth. Um, yeah, so whatever tighteners, whatever those things that they put on my teeth, they are definitely doing their job and holding, holding it in place. And not only holding it, I think it's, it's, it's it was so tight that it, it keeps pressure on it. I'm thinking by next week, maybe, maybe by the third week, I'll be able to, like, if I do this, I can feel pressure on, on the top of the teeth, like it's sensitive, so it's doing something. I cannot visually see that my gaps are closing, but um, it's doing something because that pressure stays there. And I'm also gonna go ahead and accept this fact like after my braces, the day that I get my braces on it, a couple days after, I truly need to be eating soft foods. It feels like I just need to eat soft foods all the time because my daughter was like, mommy, why don't you just eat soup? Because she just sees me eating. It's just like, <laughs> she kind of feels bad for me. <laughs> but I'm definitely, I don't know why I have tortured myself the day of tightening or the day of getting braces on. Like I'm trying to eat like regular meals. That's just not, that's not realistic, Tasha. You need to do better. You really need to eat soft foods and stop torturing yourself. So yeah, that is my two week update. And shout out to my updo today. Do you see that? And this was, this was a really impromptu hairstyle. Normally on a wash day, I'll decide, you know, I'm gonna do an updo for the week, but my hair has been down. Um, I probably need to wash it in a couple of days, but this morning, Oh, just like, let me, let me try something. And there are no pins in my hair. Um, I just have a, uh, what do you call it? A stretchy, you know, the last, the band. I have an elastic band um, that I doubled to keep it in place. 
Well, I actually twisted it first, then I put the elastic band on, and then what's really holding it together is two hair nets. So I put one on, wrapped it, tucked it, put the other one on, wrapped it, tucked it. So that's really, um, and it's not moving. I don't know if I trust it enough to like work out. No, I probably don't trust it enough to work out. But yeah, if you have not um, checked out any of my updo videos, so if you're interested in hair videos, I do have hair video on this channel. It's what I mostly post. Um, I do have some of updo. I didn't record this one just because it was on a whim. And I'm actually surprised it works so well. So, yeah. so check out some of those videos. I'll put the links in the description box if you're interested in that. But um, yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Please thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.